Hi, this is Gopal. This is the second part of the database tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about more on a database and a few basic SQL commands. So let's get started. In the last tutorial I talked about what is a data. I talked about what is a database management system. But the basic question comes in why we need to store a data in a database. Before I proceed, I have to uh, show you a picture here so that you can understand it uh, really better. There we go. So here I have a funnel and a table. The funnel stores data and the table stores data. But here can you answer me that which one is easier to understand or which one is easier uh, to get information from? Obviously this is a very silly question. The table here is better than the funnel. It's, it's better to understand and it's better to understand what this table describes rather than this funnel which contains random information like a name, engineer, age, Ubuntu, 38, all right? So obviously this table, which is a structure, is very easy. So there you go. This is the basic need or the basic uh, necessity for a data to be stored in a database. We store the data in a database in a structural manner which can be easier to understand and which will give us information quickly. And trust me that this is the only and one and only goal for the whole subject to get the data easily and quickly. Alright? Okay. So now as a structure here I gave you an example of a table. So first of all we need to know what is a table, what are its parts, okay? So for that uh, I'm gonna show you one more another picture here. So it's uh, this perhaps. So as you can see we have a table and in terms of database if I speak what is a table a table is something which describes a single thing. And what is that single thing? In our case, this is the single thing, the personal information. That means this table is describing only the personal information. And for describing this personal information, what are the things we need? We need a name, we need an age, we need an address. Uh, this is our specific case. You can have anything else, but so these is a thing. Now, what is a column and what is a row? A table is a combination of this. A column and a row. And what is a column? A column is basically uh, a thing which describes a particular property of that single thing. I mean, if you have uh, a record and there is something called the address, so this is the column, all right? Well, uh, I'm really not clear right now, but let me let me just take it one more time. Okay, so column is basically a vertical uh, cells, number of cells, which describes only a part or a portion of the whole information. And a row here, you can say this is a row, which is a vertical combination of cells, which describes a unique record. Got my point? So a record here is uh, John, which is its name, a 45, 
its age and an address so it's like 15 HA and column is like this it contains all the address of all the records okay so this is it and yeah one more thing what if we have uh, you know multiple descriptions from our table yeah I have an example for that too let me show you this one here we go see so see we have a table structure here but the problem is can you describe or can you say what this table says us I mean can you just give a title of it uh, well you see here is a name here's a movie title and here's your fish price oh, fish price come on it's not so technical <laughs> okay so well you see it's a mixture you know it's a hotspot it doesn't you know describes a single thing and if you have uh, designed a table in this way it will be very problematic when you actually ask for information from that table when you actually query that table so you really don't want to uh, you know, design in this way so you have to design a table in such a way that it describes a single thing all right okay now uh, let's write some SQL code here okay first of all you have to know what a SQL code is all right now for that hey look at that pretty painting huh Wow I'm a good painter Wow okay oh say there you go so this is a database and this is a you know symbol of database an official symbol trust me <laughs> and I assume here that this database contains information about employee salary all right and here it comes a person who is a you know who speaks English and he says who has the highest salary okay fine then a person comes in again and he doesn't speak English and he says in a native language like KBC Takapai it's a Indian language you'll not know that perhaps and then a alien comes in and he says well uh, did you understand that no I didn't understand too so there is a problem if different person speaks different language and ask for uh, the information from the database the database will not be able to understand the different languages so what they did they did is this formed a standard language which can be understood by the database and also the person or different kind of persons right so they decided to form a language which is called the structured query language all right structured because uh, it has a specific format and uh, it has a specific format that we have to follow and that the database can only understand query because we are actually asking we are actually querying the database with this language and language because well you know better than me you know okay so if we take this first letter of all these three words what we get here is s q l or simply sql all right okay so now you know sql what is sql what is table let's write some code all right okay let's go to my sql command line there you go and first of all I have to enter the password here which is I'll not tell you that you know okay so there you go we have uh, this command line here and first of all to show what are the databases here first command is this and notice that I'm writing in caps well you can write in uh, uh, lower cases it doesn't matter but it's a good practice you know so data basis okay there you go not aces yes yeah. so there you go it shows the list of databases that are already in this machine 
and if you're using it for the first time you'll get some default databases and you have to use it it's like this let me let me just draw it uh, it's like this if you have a database it's a collection of minimum of one table uh, assume the circles or tables or multiple tables all right so to get the tables you have to use a database so you have to use like this simple as that use database and you have to say the name of it say mysql and in describing name you have to be very careful about the um, you know what is that case all right yeah and here you first notice that I put a semicolon on each command it's it, it indicates that it's the ending point of the SQL command all right thank you hit enter key and it says there's an error why oh sorry sorry it's very sorry I just screwed up things here there you go use my SQL that's it and it says database changed okay now you're in the database of MySQL you can show the tables in the same way but this is not a good practice to use lowercase so you say so data uh, not really that one tables and the mouse is on your yeah there you go so so tables hit enter and you say the list of tables that are in the database okay good and okay the last command for this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a database it's very simple you simply write create sorry not we create database so you're going to create a single database it's just a database you know it and just put a name here say my I say my test data okay uh, that's a name that's popped in my head okay just hit enter key and says query okay that means your query was in the uh, right format fine and one row affected uh, just don't worry about this just hang with me you'll understand it later and let me see if it was really created so what do you do and here was one trick here you can uh, hit the arrow keys to you know get the previous queries so it's pretty easy pretty uh, fast so you see so databases and you see here uh, there you go or is it yeah my test data got it okay so this is it for this tutorial and thank you for watching and if you have any questions please ask it in the comment section and uh, please subscribe okay subscribe man thank you bye